Hello, Cancer people. So, Cancer people, welcome to Three Crows Runes. My name is Jen. Let's do a rune reading for June 2023. We're going to start with a card from the Aquarian deck, and we have the moon. So, this month, Cancer people, a few things. One, um, you're going to be spending some time thinking about your your dreams, your hopes and dreams, your your th your thoughts about the things that you that you want to manifest, um, and and it's just sort of like you're just sort of letting that gently sit in your mind. The other thing about it this month is that you may be seeing things this month that aren't what they seem to be. You may just like to give things the benefit of the doubt this month. This is going to be like a kind of a misty month for you. So let's get some runes down on this. You're feeling comfortable. <laughs> there's like there's a certain amount of coming and there's a focus on that. So either you are feeling comfortable and in sanctuary or you are very concerned about that. Like that's the thing that is in your thoughts this month is home and homeland. So we have uh, Othala, which is the rune of the home and the homeland. Uh, this month, you are very much concerned with uh, home, um, your comfort zone, your sanctuary, you know, a place that you can be who you are. So that's going to be your focus, whether you are in that place and having your thoughts and dreams of hoping to manifest things within that or whether it, this is your focus your focus is going to be home this month leading up to this we have year year is the rune of the harvest and also time so it's like you've just completed a season uh, you've just been through a whole season and it has wrapped up um, it's basically you've you've gotten out of it what you were going to get out of it and it has closed and now you're in a situation where you are in a you're, you're sort of feeling like you're focusing on home. You're focusing on home this month. Um, so even though a new thing is starting, it's like you're starting from a place of we're focusing on home. What is going to help you is, I'm going to read this a couple ways. We have Gabo, which is the rune of the gift. The gift is always an exchange. So it's agreements, decisions, plans, and goals. Uh, have your plans, make your plans, set goals. Um, the fact that you maybe have also completed a thing, this is like you have completed a thing, so that's helping you because you don't feel you don't feel driven to move hard forward at the moment. So you can actually enjoy this um, sense of home more. Um, there is also an interpersonal one on one thing going on with Gabo. So you may, what is also going to help you this month is like that, that one-on-one -on -one interaction that you are having an exchange with. Um, that's going to help you as well. What isn't going to help this month is you are worried about challenges. Maybe you've just come through a lot of challenges. So we have Thurizaz, which is the rune of challenge. It's the Thorn, the Giant, the Gateway. It is open. So it's like things that you know, it, it wouldn't be super, super hard, but it's like challenges. It's like you haven't, you've had enough. You're worried about the next one. Um, if that starts to be the case, bring yourself back up to your agreements, decisions, goals, and plans. The fact that you have reached a goal already and that you're sitting on it, you don't have to worry about moving forward with that one anymore. And also talk to somebody that you trust, you know, have an, have an exchange with somebody. If this is worrying you, talk to that person, have that interaction, and, and that's going to help you get past it. So, yes. <laughs> so... What this is going to lead you to by the end of the month is you are going to be willing, you're going to be ready at the end of the month to start getting back to things, getting back to taking care of the duties and responsibilities in your life, and also driving forward with your life's quest. Uh, we have Tivas, which is Tears Rune, Tears the Warrior God. This has to do, with, yes, driving forward with your quest, but also taking care of duties and responsibilities. Tyr was the one who would do that. Tyr was all about taking care of what needed to be taking, taken care of, even when nobody else would. Um, he's the one who took care of the, Fen, of, of the Fenris wolf, of Fenrir, when nobody else would take care of Fenrir. It didn't end well, but it's, he, he still was the only one who would do it. So... <laughs> So it's just basically, you know, taking care of duties and responsibilities and moving forward with your quest um, by the end of the month. You do need this month to be a little bit yin, um, to be a little bit, you know, let's sort of let things simmer with our hopes and dreams and just basically focus, really focus on home this month. And that's what's going to help you the most. Um, that and also making plans, uh, setting goals, sitting on the fact that you've accomplished a, a thing <laughs> that you're starting the month having accomplished it, 
and just basically, if you need to communicate with one other person that you trust, like a one-on-one kind of thing. You can do that with more than one person, like one-on-one communications, but don't be like a lot of people at once kind of thing. Just basically, that what's going to help you is the is the individual exchanges and also setting agreements, decisions, goals, and plans, and being happy about the one that you've accomplished already. And yeah, by the end of the month, you'll be ready to ride forward again and uh, and also take care of what needs to be taken care of. So that, Cancer People, is your reading for June 2023. I wish you all the best with this, and I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye.